certainty of habitability. Um, and then another one that I worked on uh, that was uh, one of my favorites this past session was the Affordable Energy Act. And, uh, you know, I had that bill in my pocket to run last session. And then we had the snow again. How many of you guys remember the snow again? So we were there at the house and, you know, we were getting a text about the rolling blackouts. And, uh, I told Sochi, of course, we're both Spanish speaking. I said, you know, if we're going to be living in a third world country without electricity, it's going to at least be warm. And, uh, you know, so when that hit, uh, it made me think, you know, well, we really you know, need to run this bill. And what it does is it creates accountability for the Public Service Commission. And then before we start shutting down plants, that they have to come in with a statement saying that yes, this is a path, best path forward for uh, sustainable uh, energy and that our people can afford it. And we're not going to be having rolling blackouts. I mean, if you guys look around the country and some of these more progressive states that have converted all of their energy into renewables, which I think renewables are wonderful, but we have to do it in a way that makes sense. So A, that our people can afford it and B, so that we don't have those rolling blackouts. And so uh, I was able to work on that as well. So I mean, as uh, far as uh, legislative track record, uh, I run uh, quite a few bills. Um, in fact, I think I ran 12. Uh, not all of them passed or went through, but I ran 12 my first session. And I had a legislator that had been there some time. He said, man, I don't know if I've run that many bills since I've been here. And, um, but I love it, and I, I love serving. But you know, that is just one 